We are here for the SEMA show and to put an EV together here at the show. How many of you have installed uh, an Ampere Atom Drive system before this week? None of us. Nope. Not, Not a single one. Not even seen it before. Nope. to us early, but we were trying to get ready for SEMA and everything like that, and just thought, you know, it'd be like, let's just go from zero and see what happens. I had confidence in us. <laughs> I knew we were going to be all right. Nice. I've heard good things about the Atom Drive, so I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't surprised by anything, which is cool. I came in absolutely blind. I didn't know what car we were doing, what system we were doing. I was just told we're wiring up the car, so uh, <laughs> the Atom Drive was great, you know, just the plug and play aspect of it and everything, just fantastic. Yeah. This would be the first one I've ever done that it was actually a complete plug and play system. Yeah. Just have never, that's not our experience up till now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we've done mainly just custom every time tailored to the vehicle. So doing something that's already pre planned, laid out, yeah. plug and play. It's great. When we started looking through the through the manual, I realized that they obviously really thoroughly thought out thought it all through. Yep. Highlighted the item that you were putting on within the chassis so you knew where it went not only from the description but from the picture that they had put together. It was also kind of just nice to go through everything and just see components that we actually haven't used before on other projects per se that like oh wow that's really nice you should use that you know here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just really like cool cool components. We saw a couple pieces that are new to us right. so that's neat. Yeah. They will definitely implement in going, going forward in projects we're using yeah. or we're doing we'll definitely use the components Having pre-cut lengths on everything, everything's labeled. We like that. It makes it easy. Yeah, save a lot of time. It's like cheating. For yeah, us. It, yeah, it is. I mean, to do something this like this from scratch would have taken the three of us at best a week, if not two, and that would be all three of us on it eight hours a day, starting from scratch. And that's the assumption that you know what every pin and every component needs, you know, what it needs and where it's supposed to go to, which is a whole nother enormous amount of time to define before you even start wiring it. This actually has a whole lot of length and everything added to it, so it really is kind of universal, if you will, to pretty much anything that you're putting it into. So it was nice in that aspect because I still had to put the man hours in on that harness over there to lengthen things and stuff, but over here, yeah, it was just super convenient that everything was ready to go. Yeah, it, I mean, it would definitely cut down time and uh, it, after, you know, going through the system and everything and uh, installing it, it's definitely on my radar now. We're definitely going to consider it uh, going forward with our... I think it's one of the things that the price point's going to be higher than maybe some other kits available, but if you've been through the process of actually doing a wiring harness from start to finish, at the end of the day, if you're having to pay somebody to do the wiring for you, something like this that's already pre, you know, pre-terminated is going to save an enormous amount of money in a you know, full project. There's a ground bus that you can bring all sorts of smaller wires into one main plug, and then it goes through the, um, through the actual connector that bolts right to the chassis and grounds all of those wires. None of us had ever seen that before. Yeah. And certainly something we're gonna use. Doing grounding from multiple wires down to one large wire, then down to its grounding point is kind of how it's always been done. And I, we, none of us had ever seen this setup on this car. We've actually all took pictures of the part numbers on them. So. Well, first of all, I've always wanted one of these cars. So that was kind of special to, for, to be able to be part of it and kind of dig at it and see what how the chassis is built and all that kind of stuff. And then the integration that they did was was pretty nice, pretty laid, pretty, pretty well laid out. So yeah, I think to be able to work on a car that I've always kind of admired and thought I probably will own one at one time or another, to see what it looks like if you did an EV setup, you know, it's pretty cool.